Now part 3 says, considering the standard deviations in the table on page 18, compare the performance of the boys and the girls. So you consider the standard deviations, alright? Now, standard deviation, the deviation part of that term is saying how much the overall scores deviate from the mean, the average. So how far they spread on either side of the average. So you can see the boys standard deviation is higher. There is a wider swing above and below the average than the girls which is 6.3 which is smaller. So what you can say here is that the performance of the boys were was um had a larger variation in scores. You had a larger swing in the scores from lower from the lowest to the highest or let's say overall the boys performance or their scores the boys scores were wider in variation than the girls scores the girls scores were closer right in terms of how they varied overall so that's when we that you can that that you can put it right the boy scores had a wider swing in terms of how much they deviated from the mean they had a wider variation a larger variation than the girls scores which was the the, the scores were more closer together overall than, than in the case of the boys.